Hey everyone, it's Colin, how's it going? Backlight and Bivert mods for the original Game Boy produce solid results, but they can be tricky to install. One wrong move and you've rendered the screen unusable. Let's look at another option that not only removes the risk of damage, but also looks fantastic. This is the DMG Backlight IPS mod kit from Handheld Legend, who kindly sent it my way to check out. It comes with not just the display panel, but all the parts necessary to install it. I have a beat up DMG that's the perfect candidate for this mod. The shell is in rough shape, and after installing a backlight, the screen developed vertical lines that, despite multiple attempts, I haven't been able to fix. Normally a bad screen like this means the Game Boy is trash, since the display is soldered to the front circuit board and fairly difficult to replace. This IPS display kit fixes all of that. I started by disassembling my Game Boy. Since I'm replacing the shell at the same time, the only parts I need to keep from the old one are the back PCB and rubber membranes for the buttons. A small amount of trimming needs to be done to the shell. These four standoffs get snipped off from the front bezel, along with this fin up by the power switch. On the back housing, this ridge in the cutout for the contrast wheel needs to be trimmed off. I used a pair of flush cutters for this, but a craft knife would work well too. I installed the PCB in the rear housing, then set it aside. I peeled the protective film from the new display, then cut two pieces of the included double-sided tape. I put the pieces across the very top and bottom of the screen. When it's all done, these will be outside the viewable area. Next, I connected the small display board to the screen's flat flex cable. Where it'll sit in the Game Boy, it's not terribly likely to short out on anything. But to be safe, you could put some capped on tape on the back to insulate it. I peeled the backer off the tape and positioned the screen in the front housing. It needs to be pressed up against the top, then aligned side to side so it's centered in the screen cutout. The installation instructions suggest using a couple of extra pieces of the tape to hold the screen in place, but I opted to stack a few pieces of thick foam tape on this corner of the panel so pressure from the case keeps it from moving. The part that makes this whole mod so easy is this, a completely new front circuit board. It not only has a connector for the IPS display and replacement for the contrast wheel, but also has contacts for the front buttons. The only bit of soldering needed for this entire mod is just the two wires for the speaker. And if you're so inclined, now would be a good time to install any other mods, like an amplifier kit. I dropped in the front buttons and membranes, then connected the long flat flex ribbon between the display board and new front PCB. Then I set the board in place and screwed it into the existing standoffs. I connected the wider ribbon cable between the front and back halves, closed up the shell and screwed it together, then finally installed the new screen cover. And like with other IPS display mods, the results are fantastic. The image is even clearer than a biverted original DMG screen, and it offers much better brightness. Unlike some other Game Boy replacement displays, though, the viewable area on this one is the same size as the original, and since there is no interpolation, it looks incredibly sharp. The contrast wheel on the side is now a rotary encoder and used to scroll through the screen's brightness and color controls. Not only can the background color of the screen be changed, similar to that of an RGB backlight, but there's also a couple of color palette options. This doesn't mean the DMG can play color games, but rather the effect is similar to how the Game Boy Color can add an alternate palette to original black and white games. There are two major things that make this kit especially impressive. First is its ease of installation. Minimal tools are needed, and the limited soldering for the speaker wires is very simple to do. 
Second, and perhaps more importantly, is its use of that replacement front PCB. I hear often from viewers who have damaged the screen in their DMG while trying to install a backlight, and most of them end up having to buy another console so they can try again. This kit eliminates that risk, and what's more, it's a great way to make use of any Game Boys that have been relegated to part status like mine. This IPS display kit costs $75 US, and while that's definitely more than a simple backlight panel for the original screen, the price is in the ballpark with similar mods for other consoles. I think it offers solid value given its quality, simple installation, and the fact it can save some less fortunate Game Boys from the trash. I owe a big thank you to Handheld Legend for sending a kit my way, and of course, I'll include a link in the description if you want to check it out. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at thisdoesnotcomp, and as always, thanks for watching.